Wellington, Texas. We are here today to offer a giveaway. Yes, so we are giving away a SureCall cell booster and it is super easy to enter the giveaway. You just sign up for our mailing list. You just basically put your email in there and you'll receive uh, email updates from us occasionally about just different things that are going on, discounts, just some cool little updates like that. And you can find the link in the description section. It's driveinvibin.com forward slash SureCall. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the SureCall in just a second, but if you're watching the rebroadcast, you can also find the link in the comment section. And once we get done explaining the giveaway, we'll open this up to a Q&A section. So stick around for that. Uh, we hold this computer real yeah. quick. What's up, Jacob? So here is the box. Now, this is the SureCall car unit. This is not the exact unit we're giving away. We're giving away the RV booster. So instead of this small exterior antenna, it will include a big RV antenna. Yeah. Really, it's the stuff that we featured in um, the the head-to-head -head comparison we did earlier last week. Yes, so if you want to get a more up-close look at it and see some of the stats about it, you can go watch that video where we compared it to the WeBoost cell booster. And uh, um, since SureCall was nice enough to give us the unit for free to test out, we wanted to pay it forward to the Vibe Tribe and offer it up in the giveaway. And this was just... Uh, we felt like the most fair and the easiest way to uh, give it away. Yeah, we thought it would be fun. It will for whoever wins. It's like four hundred and forty-nine dollars, yeah. like new. So I mean, that's a great savings right there. Now, uh, away, it won't have all the that it was given to us in, but it will have every piece you need. It's out already, so. We can assure you that it worked. And uh, we'll open up this live video feed in just a second so we can get to some questions. But we see a lot of people tuning in. Thank you for joining us today. To give you a little update, he says hi from Iowa. So to update on where we're in Texas and we're just for the RV Nomad movie. Start filming yes. uh, uh We got wrapped up and we had a great. They're actually filming um, our to us and just about uh, go on too long just so we are not in the way of the filming. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the chat area now. Yeah. Also, if you're watching the rebroadcast, you can still questions in the comments section and it'll give us material for our Thursday Q&A video. We have some more people saying hi, Sherry and Vicki, South Carolina and New York. Lance said he registered online, hope to win. Awesome. Yes, thank you for registering. And Rod B is exactly where we would like to be right now in Colorado. Yeah, it is very hot out here. It is in the hundreds all week. Um, the day we were originally planning on filming our part, uh, or shooting our part, uh, was gonna be like 105 plus. So we moved it up a little bit and now we're actually gonna have a week to kind of do whatever we want. So I think we're gonna go hang out in Hot Springs and Little Rock, Arkansas for a bit. And for a few people who just joined the live chat are asking how they can get entered to get this free booster, just look in the description of this video. There is a link. It's driveinvibin.com forward slash surecall. And uh, all you got to do is enter your email and that will get you signed up. Yeah, it just signs you up to our mailing list and you will be entered to win. And this will end on June 24th and we will announce the winner and we'll shoot you an email and say, you won. We've already given away one booster last year and uh, we can take these test products and put them forward, you know? Yeah, for sure. We, we love uh, getting to try out all these cool things from these companies. But we do end up having our, our needs covered on some of these fronts. So we'll have extras laying around and we like sharing them with those who, who might need it. Now, John says, are we enjoying the process of making a movie? Uh, so it is enjoyable, but I have to say we it's more stressful than working on the Airstream. Yeah, I, I think I was a little scrambling there. We, uh, we, I thought we were going to have five days to prepare to get ready to film. Um, and then we found out it got moved up to the very next day. So 24 hours, I was like deep cleaning and trying to make everything look nice on camera. Still didn't get around to a bunch of things I wish I could have done. But, you know, you, you just do what you got to do and it's authentic. It's lived in. This, yeah, we, this is us. We don't want to necessarily give off uh, this uh, image of perfection because the camper is rarely in pristine condition. Yes. But it's nice when it is. Yes. Um, so let's see. Someone's tuning in from central Alabama, Indiana, um, 
guess no worries about snow in Colorado now. That's right. Uh, so what else we got going on? Uh, just that we're going to be heading out here tomorrow evening, getting out of this heat. Well, no, it's still going to be hot in Arkansas. Yeah, it will. But uh, we'll at least have a change of scenery. And I think we're going to stop back by that little park that we stayed in in Little Rock because it was beautiful and we didn't get to explore that much. Yeah. And just stop by Hot Springs again and maybe have our favorite pizza. Mm -hmm. Jody wants to know how the movie is going to be distributed. It will be offered for online streaming. We're hoping a big streaming service will pick it up, but you'll be e it'll be easy to watch online once we get all yes. those links to forward to you yes, guys. Yes, definitely. And I'm sure there will be a DVD or something yeah, that for folks sure. can buy too. What are your travel plans for the summer? Raymond wants to know. Uh, this is pretty much it. What we're doing now to Alabama, we're going to be jumping right back into our Argosy renovations. And hopefully we'll take a little trip here and there. But for the most part, the biggest goal is finishing the Airstream as soon as possible so we can get back on the road full time. Um, that's right. I don't know. There are no real travel plans in our future, unfortunately. Yeah. I wish there were. What else we got? Hello from Mississippi, Quartz Hill, California. If you have a question, we got over 60 people tuned in right now, so please feel free to ask a question. We'll be on here for at least another five minutes if you have any. Yeah, and you guys, if you haven't already, make sure to go follow us on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and all of those cool places so that you can stay up to date on everything that's going on. So Paul D says, do you think y'all will have more money in the remodel as opposed to buying one already done? So we're in a really fortunate position, I'd have to say, in a unique position as this question is concerned, as far as putting money into a used one. Oh, I think we will still come out way ahead renovating a used one than buying a new one. And actually, our friend Jesse just walked up from Outside is Calling, who's come been on, putting out the, the live production video real quick. dailies. Awesome, we're we're going to force him into the video <laughs> real quick to so, say hello. Where should I go? There a lot you of go. you guys have already hey guys. subscribed to their channel, Outside is Calling. If you haven't, go do that because they're super this is the man making the daily RV Nomad documentary vlogs that are produced yeah. so and hopefully we'll we'll get to do a collab with him today or tomorrow before we head out of here be yeah. yeah there's time for sure so yeah make sure you subscribe outside is calling yeah well, you can tell funny. how much taller he is than us right now <laughs> I over to paint these guys because I saw him talking to their truck the cameras <laughs> inside the truck but you guys are spot now you put me on the spot <laughs> <laughs> well, good it worked out <laughs> well <laughs> all right anyways you guys. No, it's all oh, good. Yeah. Hey, yeah. everybody. I'm, uh, yeah, we'll look forward to showing you guys this movie here in a couple months. Yeah, we're excited, too. <laughs> I'll leave you guys alone. All Sorry. right, good seeing no, you. Good. Good. We'll see you later. Let's hop on to a next question. Uh, oh, yeah, and as far as the uh, money investing in the, um, the Argosy reno, we are fortunate to team up with some companies that are helping us out along the joining this project with us. And the Vibe Tribe has been super helpful offering us uh, mm. things they have lying around that really come in handy. Yeah, it's really been great to use our channel and just kind of this whole brand we've created to really work with companies and maybe get some of these things that would be really yeah. uh, big hits on us financially uh, to get it all at once. So that's been really cool. So what is the next step on the Argosy? That would be installing the subfloor mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll put the shell back on the trailer frame. Uh, how much longer will we be in Texas? Uh, uh, we're leaving tomorrow evening around 7. And then uh, someone's saying um, we're driving and vibing for a week could use a booster. Yeah, I hear you. The link is in the comment section or the link is in the description section if you're just logging on. All you got to do is enter your email and that'll put you in the uh, giveaway. Packing up the house in Georgia to enlist a few days. Can't wait to hit the wow, road. Awesome. Very cool. All right, someone else just entered the giveaway. Perfect. Uh, yes. We are so happy to pass along this gear we're getting because, yes. like Olivia said, we just get stocked up with too much of it, honestly, and yeah, we want to pass it along. And we want to be able to, you know, share our thoughts and see how all the new products coming out are working and share that with the industry. Uh, but like Kyle said, we, we end up with more than we need, <laughs> so we're happy to share. And we... We put the giveaway on Instagram already, and yep. so far we've already had 600 people. Yeah, it's enter. so cool. Yeah. Um, Dallas wants to know where are we at? Not as far as needs go, but what do you need past Patreon? Uh, so I think our needs are pretty much met so far. The community 
uh, brands, everyone just keeps contributing as new projects come on. So yeah. we are so thankful for everyone who's joined joined in on this project. Yes, for sure. And it's more often that our the, the tribe knows mm -hmm. what we need before yeah. we do, and they see us struggling with something, and they're like, "Oh, you poor guys here. We're gonna send you a, a set of you know tools or pliers or whatever that might make the job easier." And by no means do we ask for anything, but we do appreciate everything that you guys have done for us. It's super, super sweet. Oh, yeah. We mainly need your collective mm -hmm. knowledge and support throughout this process. A very good example of this is whenever Olivia was cleaning the AC, we weren't really aware there were two coils mm -hmm. that needed to be cleaned. Yeah. So we cleaned one coil, but it wasn't until the Vibe Tribe really made us aware. We just Googled, <laughs> why isn't my RV AC getting cold? And it's like, oh, these coils are dirty you should probably clean them so i did that but the the blog post i read or whatever was not it didn't go into um all the different maintenance things to do and that there was another set of coils so that was great that everyone uh, told us some things we could do we didn't know we could blow it out with the hose either i was scared like you know that we might damage something so we figured that out and now it's super cool it's running behind us right now our camper is so cold in there. A huge shout out to I think it was Shoe Dog. It's left the screen right now but uh, he just did a super chat and gave us 10 bucks. Oh awesome. Thank that you. That is so kind. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, how are we testing water leaks on the Argosy they want to know. There it is Shoe Dog. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's super kind. That'll go towards our dinner tonight. Heck yeah. yeah. Um, so that's one meal for the dinner. <laughs> um, how are we testing water leaks? We're not testing yet. Um, uh, for for the Argus trailer? for the Argosy, oh, but uh. we will have ample opportunity to test. And since all the skins are off on the inside, we'll recock all the joinings again, mm -hmm. just to from the inside we have that unique opportunity mm -hmm. to prevent blocks that way. Yeah, and on the previous owner actually did check for leaks when she was trying to make sure um, double check areas where she did see some water damage on the floor, which I think was just one near the front window. And she fixed that and then tested over and over again to see if there was a leak still. And she said it was dry mm -hmm. as a bone. So at least we'll she, see, yeah. she has it probably needs to be checked quite a few times before this process is over though yep um scott says how do we enter the giveaway again for those tuning in the link is in the description all you got to do is go to driveinvibin.com forward slash sure call and enter your email address and when this is over we'll also pin that in the comments that's below right too. dallas is being too nice uh, telling us to message him because he's sure there's something bigger we need I can't think of anything, but if we do, we'll message you, and we thank you so yes. much for being persistent and so kind. Yeah, send us a postcard, <laughs> something that is personal and sweet. We love being able to, after a long day, go to the post office and get these little notes and messages from you guys because it just really, <laughs> like, we can get stressed out and tired, and to see everyone took time out of their day just to send us a hello or whatever, it was yeah. really, really sweet. So if you have any more questions, be sure to leave them now because we'll only be on here for a few more minutes because I think they're about to start filming next door. We better not be screaming into the truck. <laughs> if yeah. you actually saw how this was set up, the camera is inside the truck to block the wind. Yes. So we're standing on the opposite side. Yeah, the side. wind is very intense, as you can probably tell, my hair going crazy everywhere right now. So we're just screaming into the truck right now, um, and they probably won't appreciate that in a few minutes. <laughs> John wants to know how the AC is holding up. It is holding up amazing. That's great. Yes, it is so good. I can't believe just cleaning those coils made every difference in the world. Yeah, and now both generators can start the AC. We were wondering a year ago, the generator stopped being able to power the AC. And now it makes sense. It was because it wasn't energy efficient because mm -hmm. it was um, not releasing that heat. And for the longest time, we thought it was the altitude we were at because we were in higher yeah. elevations. So we were like, oh, maybe it's just not able to kick on up here. But it continued to not work in Alabama. But now both our old Honda and the new one can run them, run it super easy. So I don't know what Devin means when he says, are you putting in AC panel box? Do you think that has to do some of the breakers in our Argosy he's talking about? Yeah, I'm not sure. We're, yeah, we're newbies. <laughs> we don't know the lingo. Everyone in the movie young. Definitely not. There are um, There is at least one set of retired folks, and then there are um, older folks that are still 
doing slight work from the road, not like corporate jobs, not, but just... Not even old, though, but they're probably about retirement age. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but blog and stuff on the side, so not traditional jobs by any means. Lots of um, retired military Coast Guard, yep. that sort of thing. And uh, not everyone in the movie has a YouTube channel. That was another question we got a few week, a few days ago. Yeah, I think the YouTubers were probably the easiest people to <laughs> find uh, in living this lifestyle because they put themselves out there more, obviously. But we have bloggers too. We have people that you know uh, uh, from all different backgrounds, really. Dallas said he's the guy that sent us a caricature of us. That's very cool because I saw a similar caricature um, by Less Drunk More Journey. So I wonder if you made that one too because it looks similar. Yes, thank you by the way. That was super cool. Will I be playing in the movie, I'm guessing, music? Um, we might. We actually will probably use some driving and vibing songs in the movie if they want to. They've yeah. they've expressed interest in that, and we'd be happy to allow them to do that. Yeah, I think there was one song in yeah. particular they were hoping to use, and we told them that was totally fine. And we did get some footage of just playing some guitar by the fire the other day. Yeah. So, but no live music shots in the video. No. That's all reserved for Nomad Fest <laughs> in October. Right. So, looks like we're wrapping up on the questions. We should probably wrap up the video pretty quick here. Thank you guys so much again for logging in here and watching live with us today. And thank you for uh, signing up for the giveaway. We hope that everyone has the best of luck. Good luck to <laughs> I know. you all. We only could give one away, but if we get yes. another one, we'll be yeah, sure to give we, away too. We want to do this a lot more in the future, and it would be will be super easy, especially if you guys are on the mailing list to stay updated with all of that stuff. And if we get any discount codes for any of these products too, we can shoot those out to you as well. Most definitely. So, looks like filming is about to start. Thank you again so much, guys. And I guess we will see you tomorrow with an interior tour video of the Fiber Stream. I know you have been waiting so long, and now that it's finally looking good and organized, and uh, we have the time and energy, now it's the time to do it. That's right. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.